now my friend, your next comic, Alonzo Ross. How y'all like my twin? Was he all right? He all right? That's twin of you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Four Shades. How y'all doing? Merry Christmas. That's what I'm talking about. I love Christmas. I love the holidays. Ain't nothing better than the holidays. Y'all like the holidays? Y'all, you a holiday type of girl? That's what I'm talking about. You know what I like about the holidays? The family get-togethers. Y'all like the family get-togethers? Oh, I love that shit. All the family get together, everybody eat, everybody have fun. It only fuck up when somebody don't know the holiday rules, right? Every holiday got their own rules. We just left Thanksgiving, y'all know the main rule. Only bring the dish you assigned to. That's the rule on Thanksgiving. TikTok gonna turn everybody into a chef. I don't know what the hell. They get late at night high and get to looking through recipes. Stop that shit. My mama put almonds in the mac and cheese this year. I don't know who the fuck told her to do that shit. It was a white woman on TikTok. <laughs> My brother gonna bring on the sweet potatoes. This dude gonna put caramel popcorn in. I'm talking about the caramel glaze. It's gonna be in the sweet. Nigga, that, you are high when you made this. How'd you even bake it? What is this? How's the popcorn still fresh? What is it? You popped this this morning? What's going on? And now we at Christmas, right? So I got some Christmas rules. I got some rules. Don't, don't, don't ruin my Christmas this year. This is my first year not in my baby mama's house for my Christmas. This is gonna be a good Christmas. This is my house. I'm getting the presents this year. This is my tree. I'm saying the goddamn it. The whole nine. So here's my rules, y'all. Y'all gotta pay attention because I don't want y'all Christmas to be fucked up this year. So rule number one. If you got some expensive gifts, open that shit at your house. <laughs> open all that expensive shit at your house. Don't be coming to my house trying to show off because I don't even love my kids like that. As soon as Reggie gets to about $100, I start questioning what the fuck they really do for me in my life. This is $100. It's either these gifts or lights. We gotta figure out Who's really important here? Cause, uh, right, thank you. We gotta figure it out. Cause I don't need nobody, more. Daddy, why Santa don't like us like they like them? We don't need to have that conversation. Me and mine good. Second rule, I had to learn this one on my own. I can't even blame it on nobody, y'all. This one's all me. I thought I was being slick. How long, matter of fact, I'm gonna see if y'all slick like me. How long y'all been together? Oh, y'all good, y'all good, y'all good. Give it up for Black Love, give it up for Black Love. White Love too, White Love too. We love everybody. And interracial, I see y'all back there. You got your, you got your Betty White with you, you got your Betty White with you. Ain't nothing wrong with it, ain't nothing wrong with it. Everybody got a little groove now. So, here I am, I'm like, okay, I fucked up. I should have waited the five year mark. Or I should have bought a white one because then my mama can't say too much. See what I'm saying? But should have said it underneath her breath. That's the whole point. Like, this white bitch in my house. She wasn't going to say it out loud. But I fucked up. I decided to bring my brand new girl home for Christmas. I'm telling y'all, if y'all in here right now, and y'all brand new, y'all dating, y'all got, it's a five month mark. Y'all got to at least have two holidays in before Christmas. She got to come around and get the feel. You can't just walk in the house with a new bitch on Christmas. It ain't going to go right. Because you don't know what's going to go down at Christmas. The shit be bad from the pull-up, don't it? Whoever you got, your girl or your lady, you bring her over, you got you to get it right. You in the car. The car is the main one, right? The car is where it starts. You got your prep talk. You're like, okay, baby, listen. I love my family. But they crazy. I'm going to just tell you straight up. Now, my mama... She might say some shit. Right, right. That just means she loves you. Don't take nothing by it. Don't take nothing by it. She do that to everybody in the house. She mad because she been cooking. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> now my daddy. Now my daddy is strange, y'all. My daddy's an older black man from the 80s. So y'all already know what he on. My dad just happy to see another ass in the house. That's all my dad's happy to see another ass in the house. He been looking at my mama's ass this whole time. He just 
It's like he think he's fucking the girl that I'm with because I'm with him, because I'm his son. Because I'm his son, like, oh, I see you, son, I see you. Why are you rubbing your leg? What the fuck is you doing? I see you, I see you, I see you. Close your eyes, then. Close them motherfuckers. But I gotta let her know, this shit gonna happen, just roll with it. This shit gonna happen, just roll with it. So here we are after the, you know how it is, after the awkward meeting, after we open up the presents, it's dinner time, right? Now dinner time, that is the Super Bowl of the family. It can make or break the entire season. It can make or break, it's the last holiday as a family. And it's the last kids holiday. Y'all know New Year's is for the grown folk. Them kids going on somewhere, we getting drunk, we turned up. So this is the last one for the family. Is we gonna stay a family going into next year? <laughs> or I'm disowning y'all motherfuckers, which one? Cause I don't even like my cousins like that anyway. We can really, we can really go about it. And your mama always started off, ain't that the person? Y'all sitting at the table, nobody wanna say nothing. Cause everybody know, everybody business. And you don't need no smoke on your shit, you know how it is, you don't say nothing. You don't need no smoke in your relationship. You know why? Because you got to go home. You already know. I got to go home with whoever I brought. And this is brand new. So I can't ruin this. It's just started. Mama thinks she's slick. They always subtle. They don't say it too loud because you don't, you know, they don't want nobody to go, <gasps> shock guy. They don't like that. Mama's like to slide it in. And she pick on me first every time. Oh, hey, Alonzo. Like the new girl. But how's the job search going? That's where she slid it in. Y'all heard that? Y'all heard that question? How's the job search going? She know I ain't got no fucking job. That's like telling my new girl I'm broke. What is you doing? We had a free dinner. This is Christmas. I was going to take this to see the color purple. No, we here this year. We here. And so I got to be respectful because it's my mom. You know what I'm saying? I tell her, mom, now you know I ain't got no job. I'm trying to do this comedian thing. You know what I'm trying to do, mama. She go, well shit, that's the joke right there, son. You should just laugh with that. <laughs> fuck all y'all for laughing. Whoever laughs, whoever laughs, fuck you. Fuck y'all for laughing. But that's a mama for you, man. You gotta love your mamas, man. Yeah. Ain't that fucked up? That's fucked up. But I love Christmas. I love the holidays. This time is always fantastic, you know what I'm saying? The only thing I don't like about this time is the shopping. Oh my God, I hate the shopping. Main reason, cause you always run into somebody that you know at the damn grocery store. Don't you hate that shit? No matter where you go, you always run into somebody and it be somebody you don't want to talk to. You be like, shit babe, come on, fuck shit. And he just is like, yeah, you're right, I owe her man $20. I owe her man $20. <laughs> but I hate the shopping, and me as a comedian, I got the added benefit of running to people that know me that I don't know. And that could be scary. That could be scary as fuck, depending on the person, right? True story, I'm shopping in Walmart. I'm not gonna tell you which Walmart, because after the story, y'all gonna know. <laughs> if you don't want to talk to this story, you're gonna know exactly which Walmart I was at. So here we is, I'm with my kids, doing my daddy thing, I'm shopping around, and out the corner of my eye, I see this man staring at me. Now, side note, I'm not a racist to my own people, but I know danger when I see danger. I know what danger look like. I'm not a racist to my own people, but I know what danger look like, right? So here we are, I'm going, I'm like, okay. I go to the next aisle, right? I'm like. All right, he's just shopping. Don't worry about it. We on the next aisle. I look down. He's on the next aisle, too. Now, at this time, he's staring at me, and I'm staring at him. And this ain't no regular man, y'all. We talking a black man, six foot, tattoos from head to toe. Once again, I'm not a racist. I just know danger when I see danger, right? I ain't racist, but if I see you, I'm walking away, too. You got too many tattoos for me, sir. It's a half sleeve limit, that's it. Anything after that? Uh, he got an Impala. Come on now. I'm cool on that. 
watch out for them Paulas in Walmart. They come. You hear me? Rolling. How, and, they, and they don't ever got all their tent. All the back ones is fucked up. Only the one that they driving right. And she be fucked up. But here I am, I'm in Walmart. And I see him, he see me, so I'm like, okay. My job. He's six foot. I'm not. Bro, fuck you for laughing. <laughs> she, that wasn't even a joke. That wasn't even, you ain't supposed to laugh right there. He's six foot, I'm not. So I'm trying to get to the next aisle quickly. I can't make a scene, but I am moving fast. By this time, I done left my oldest daughter because my, my youngest daughter, she fat and lazy. She in the car. So she good, she with me. My oldest daughter's talking about the carts for kids. I ain't doing that, the carts for kids. Well, okay, die like a grown woman. Die like a grown ass woman in Walmart. Like I said, he getting up close, getting up close. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. He grabbed me on the shoulder, boom. I said, yes sir, yes sir. Motherfucker scared the shit out of me. I started doing this ass clenching thing. <laughs> Have you ever been scared you start doing this ass clenching thing? Right before you yell, you clinch real hard. Like, Ow! It's an ass clenching thing. It comes from the soul. The soul of your ass, because your ass is caught in trouble. So he touched me, I clinched, I got scared. He was like, comedian Lonzo Ross, funny man. Walked off. <laughs> Comedian Lonzo Ross, funny man. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was so scared, I was so mad. I left everything there and got out the store. I was pissed off. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I shitted a little bit. <laughs> I shitted a little bit. I had to go change my drawers. I shitted a little bit. That's what happened you. I didn't tell you what happens after the clinch. After the clinch, you, when you let go. I didn't realize I should have clinched all the way through the nervousness. I relaxed too soon. I wasn't safe yet. Safety was at home. I, was, I should have clinched all the way home. I should have just walked all the way home, clinching until I got to the house. But I let go too soon. But yeah, man, it's been nice fucking with y'all, man. I just want to thank everybody for coming out, man. Thank y'all. Give a hand clap for y'all sit us. You know, Christmas, you know, is about God, you know, everybody, blessings, shout out to Jesus, you know, letting us give everybody presents for him on his birthday, you know what I'm saying, won't he do it? <laughs> won't he do it, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> but I got, I got blessings, you know, this year for me has been a lot, a lot about blessings, right? I got blessed, y'all, I'm about to have another baby, you know what I'm saying? Number three, don't, number three. Number three, three girls. Aww. I know. By the same woman though, tearing her ass up. I'm tearing her ass up. Better get, you catch up, me. You slow stroking. Oh, you got three? We on, we on, we on. You got three? Slow your fast ass down. You see how that shit, see how that shit flip? See how that shit flip? See how that shit flip? <laughs> But no, I got blessings, man. I got blessings. My daughters, you know. And, and all the males, they come to me and I tell me, I got three girls. They be like, Ooh. they get nervous, they get scared, right? I'm good. I done did all the test statistics. I'm good, man. I done looked at everything. There's more women CNAs than men. One of them wiping my ass. I'm good. By the law of averages, and then you have to take turns. You know what I'm saying? But if you got a woman, man, love her, man. If you got a woman, love her. Woman, I'm raising daughters, so you know I'm gonna keep preaching, you know, love these women, because you know my women gotta be loved when they get older. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, and women, they, my daughters they young, right? They seven and they young. You know, I got a two year old. She about to turn three. A second about to turn eight. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And my young about to be born, right? Yeah, they young. Don't worry. I said I'm fucking the same girl. You was a okay. You know what I'm saying? They, you were not in the splash zone. You was a okay. We was not in the splash zone. We ain't doing all that, y'all in my business. It's a comedy show. Laugh, bitch, laugh. Just laugh, bitch, just laugh. You up here asking about specific dates and shit. I might have a couple other bitches watching that don't know this. This is everybody finding out together, like I did. 
But on a serious note, you know, women, they already showing, you know, that they got the nurturing gene like in themselves. Like they already nurturing, they check on me. That you okay? So I'm telling y'all right now, if y'all got a good woman, she already gonna be there for y'all. She already gonna hug you, love you, nurture you. Now when she run low, it take cash to get her energy back. That's the caveat. It take a little bit of money to get her energy back. So I got a trick. I'm gonna tell my daughters, hey, whoever wipe my ass the most, get the most money in the wheel. Gotta keep that energy on you up until I die. Thank y'all for a change. Y'all have a nice night tonight. <laughs>